Now we're looking at factoring polynomials, and the main purpose of these first problems in factoring polynomials is to look for the greatest common factor. So essentially we're looking at the same thing as uh, the first few examples we looked at, only now it's in a polynomial with you know addition or subtraction in order to factor it out uh, using the distributive property in reverse, basically. So we start with looking at each term, just like we did before, 9xy squared equals, and we'll write that in a prime factorization, so 3 times 3 for 9 times, and we're leaving room for the, the x's and y's, so times x times y, and then times y. So we have 9xy squared, 3 times 3 times x times y times y. Now we'll look at 6x squared y squared, so 6x squared y squared, that equals 2 times 3 times x times x times y times y. And now we'll look at 21y cubed, and that equals 3 times 7. No x's, and then 3 y's times y times y times y. And now we look for common factors in all three terms. So we have one column of threes here, so they each have a common factor of three. No x's in the last uh, the last term, so there's no common factor of x. But then we have two columns of y. So the greatest common factor is three times y times y, which equals 3y squared. And so we can factor that out of our original polynomial. So now we'll go ahead and factor out that 3y squared. So 9xy squared, we want to factor that out into 3y squared times 3. It's just what's left in each row, times 3x. So 3y squared times 3x plus 3y squared times what's left in the second row, 2 times x times x, so 2x squared, so times 2x squared plus, again, 3y squared times what's left in this last row, 7 times y. So now we can, that, that shows we can factor out from all three terms 3y squared. And then that would be times 3x plus 2x squared plus 7y. Now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and, uh, and check that, which we will. Uh, in order to check this, we simply multiply back through. When it's when it's this simple, when it's just three terms like this, uh, it's pretty much just the reverse of what we already did. We're, we're going to end up with this line right here as long as we did everything correctly. <clears throat> we're just redistributing that 3y squared, so we end up with 3y squared times 3x plus 3y squared times 2x squared plus 3y squared times 7y. And when we multiply those through, we get 9xy squared plus 6x squared y squared plus 21y cubed. And that happens to be our original polynomial. So our solution checks. And this is what we get for our factorization. And there's no way to, right now, uh, factor what's left in uh, the parentheses here. Sometimes we'll end up with something that we can factor further. In this case, we can, can't can factor further. Uh, the most we can do is write it, writing it in terms uh, of descending order of the exponents on x. So technically, we could rewrite this as 3y squared times 2x squared 
plus 3x plus 7y. Uh, but because they didn't have it in order uh, originally, it was x, y squared instead of the x squared, y squared term. Uh, because of the difference in order, it's not in descending order of x, uh, it, it would be just as, uh, just as good of a solution in my mind to leave it with the 3x plus 2x squared plus 7y. Uh, but just to be safe, you can always reorder it in descending order of uh, the x variable.